Tommy, you are once again reuniting with the Yankees. It'll be your third stint with the team. Just how excited are you to be back in pinstripes? I'm very excited. I mean, obviously, I got drafted by the Yankees. Then I got traded back after being in the big leagues for a few years. So, and then now a third time is it's pretty special that, you know, they still value me in that, in that sense. And I've always had, you know, the, the dynamic of, you know, always being a Yankee. I feel like I've always been that in my bones, I guess, obviously, because I felt more easily more than half my professional career has been spent in a New York Yankee uniform. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty ecstatic to come back and, you know, try to help the team. Can't wait. After being drafted in 2010, that was just a few years ago, Tommy, just a few years ago. Um, what's the biggest difference, not only in your game on the field, but in your evolution as a person as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, back then, you know, I was first got drafted just out of college. I mean, you, you're definitely pretty naive and you're young. Uh, I feel like as the years have gone on, I feel like, I've, you know, you, it, it's true. You get wiser as you get older. And I just feel like I've, learned things over all these years that have helped, you know, my game, my attitude, stuff off the field, all kinds of things. You know, obviously now I'm a father. I have a little little child running around. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely changed me a lot of course of this, you know, 12-year process since I've been drafted by them. How's your little girl impacted the way you do things now? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. I mean, she uh, she's number one, obviously. So whatever she needs, we have to we have to accommodate her. So I mean, I get up now early earlier than I ever have. I tell you that. <laughs> when your when your agent came to you and said the Yankees are indeed interested, and you wound up getting a deal done, what was your initial reaction? Uh, I was I didn't think it was real. I really didn't know if they were going to be interested after I. Uh, became a free agent from the Dodgers. And when they, when he said they called, I was like, Oh, that's awesome. And I was like, that's definitely, you know, when I became a free agent, it was high on the list. It was right there. I mean, it was definitely, I wanted to come back to the East coast and obviously playing for the Yankees. I know all about the, uh, you know, the, the team, the organization, the, some of the players that are still there. So it was definitely a high priority to try to come back to New York. And I was just static that they were interested as well. Speaking of some of the players that are still there, we now know Aaron Judge will be back for nine years. Were you on Judge Watch just like the rest of us? <laughs> uh, yes, I mean, for sure. I mean, obviously, I've followed Judge since I uh, left in, after the 2020 season. And it's always, I always try to, you know, follow the guys that I've played with, friend, become friends with. And it was great to see, you know, him, you know, want to stay in New York and, you know, finish out his career as a Yankee. And I thought that was fantastic. And obviously, you know, you were pulling for him to come back. You don't want to see him try to leave and go to the Giants, but it all it all worked out and he's back in pinstripes. How do you feel like you'll fit into this Yankees bullpen in 2023? Uh, I feel like I'll fit in great. I mean, from what I've heard, all the guys are awesome. And it's going to be weird now because I'm, I think the oldest, I'm not sure, close to it. I don't know that it's complete full turn for me because when I first came back, I was the youngest, pretty much the youngest guy in the pen. Do you remember back to your days when you were the youngest guy in the pen, who you <laughs> leaned on the most to try to get yourself to the next level? Yeah, I mean, uh, so when I came back over, I would say a lot was uh, David Robertson helped me out big time. And uh, so did Adam Warren. Those are like my two lean on guys. And then eventually we got Zach Britton as well. And then, obviously, I've made great friendships with him, Chad Green, all those guys. What type of a roller coaster ride was it after you left the Yankees last time? You had Tommy John surgery. You missed almost all of 2020, came back, uh, and then had some forearm stiffness as well. Just do you feel 100% healthy now? And what was that time like trying to get yourself back to the big league level? Yeah, I mean, that the since the surgery has been a wild ride for me, I mean, I rehabbed for almost two years to the, it was pretty close to about two years. And when I first came back, I, I, I thought I felt right, but to be honest, it didn't, like I said, I had forearm stiffness kind of throughout the, uh, the winter leading into the, this past, was it this, yeah, this past season. And I just thought it was kind of, you know, the rigors of Tommy John surgery, like this is part of it. You got to just kind of push through it and then you'll feel normal. But obviously, 
it wasn't. It ended up being the uh, the stress reaction to my elbow. So, but that uh, maybe it was a good thing. I mean, it, that way I was able to rehab again and this time get it right. That way I came back and I felt literally exactly how I did before I had Tommy John in 2020. Now, one pitch you lean on a lot is that changeup. What do you think makes your changeup so filthy? <laughs> so obviously, I, I've always uh, thrown the changeup. That's always been my pitch. But to be honest, it never really came to like fruition. I guess as like the this established pitch until I think 2019, and I think that year is when we decided to start using it more. And obviously, now as my career keeps progressing. I've used it more and more. And I guess, I, I guess you could say it's good, I guess. I, I, I don't like to, I try to stay humble, but I mean, I know it's a really good pitch and obviously I'm going to lean on it going forward. Tommy, I know you don't know Matt Blake very well, but have there been any conversations this off season about what he would like to see from you, what he'd like you to do heading into spring training? So funny, he actually texted me this morning and wants me to call him. So I'm going to call him today and I'm sure we'll go over everything. But uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to talking to Matt again. I, uh, it's, I actually, uh, I was talking to him a little bit throughout the last couple of years. I make great friendships with everybody. So I've been, I've been in contact with everybody, him, Harky, even Booney was texting me the last couple of years just to reach out, see how I'm doing. So I felt like I've always been, you know, kind of part of the family with, with the Yankees organization. What do you think it'll be like when you walk in that clubhouse next time for the first time in a long uh, time? I don't know what to think. I know I'm, there's going to be a lot of new faces, but obviously a lot of familiar faces. So I feel like it, it's definitely, it seems that like everybody's pretty, pretty pumped up that I, that I'm back. And I mean, talking to the trainers, they they, they always love me, everybody. So it's going to be pretty exciting to come back and just be, be a Yankee again.